Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make these cute little beaded freshie hangers that are reusable. They can hook on to the eye hooks or if you use a string through your freshie, just a small loop of string to hook this to would work also. They swivel so it doesn't matter which direction your freshie faces. But they're super cute if you haven't seen them yet i'm sure eventually you would but today i'm going to show you how to do them so for these you're going to need a couple of different supplies a pair of scissors these little lobster claws the link for these is in the description. Some beading string. This is like a, an elastic, like a fabric elastic. This is also linked in the description. And then some type of beads. They can be the plastic bubblegum beads or they can be the silicone beads. I'm going to do both different variations in this video. But really this is preference on both size, shape, color, you know, all of that good stuff. So to start, we're going to take about two feet of our beading string and fold it in half. Now we're gonna take our thread and we're going to put it through the loop of the elastic. This will make the beads a lot easier to string and then we're just going to start putting the beads on in the order that we want. This is the pattern that I'm going for. So we're going to start with the smaller, I think this is a um, 16 millimeter bubblegum bead. So we'll do this one and make sure that you hold the end of your string just to make sure that none of your beads slip off. This is a 20 millimeter bubblegum bead. This one is also 20 millimeters. All right, once you've got them all on here, we can Get this thread out of here. You're gonna take one of the lobster claws and through the end that doesn't, you know, not the clasp, because that's where the freshie is going to be attached. Through this other ring, you're gonna bring the loop through, and then you're gonna bring the loop up over all of your beads. So then it's going to be attached to the clasp like that. Now we're going to push all the beads down to make sure they're ni nice and tight up against the clasp. And we're just going to tie a single knot so that the beads are secure. And then same kind of knot here at the end to secure the ends together and get it real tight and then that's the part that goes over the rear view this is a lot of stretch so it doesn't have to be super long to really stretch over the rear view mirror and that's it super simple quick fun easy to do really cute next i'm going to make one with the silicone beads I have the silicone beads because I also make silicone beaded wristlet keychains and I thought how cute would it be to make a coordinating set. So the wristlet and the freshie hanger will match. I typically don't use the silicone beads for freshies, um, only the acrylic beads and the plastic bubblegum beads 
mostly because the silicone beads are more expensive and they're typically hard to find in sizes larger than 15 millimeter. And I like the 20 millimeter size of bubble gum beads. I like that size for the freshies. I feel like these silicone ones are just too small. So this would be the hanger that matched with the little wristlet. Now, I'm sure if you've seen my other videos, y'all know that I love bows. So we are going to try to incorporate bows into these. So if you haven't seen my bestseller series, uh, video one, uh, basically what I'm doing here is I'm cutting two equal lengths of a thick ribbon, not super thick, I think it's seven eighths, it's about an inch. And then I'm gonna cut a thinner piece of ribbon, slightly shorter than the first two. I'm gonna make two cuts of that. And then each piece I'm gonna fold in half and cutting from the fold to the edge at an angle. And before you let it go, it's a good idea always to melt your edges so they don't fray. And you're gonna do this on the end of every piece of ribbon. Okay, now that we have them all cut, I'm gonna criss start by crisscrossing the two thicker pieces and then alternating the direction of the next layer, crisscross these on top. I'm gonna take a piece of strong, durable button thread I'm going to adjust any crookedness or unevenness between the ribbon as much as I possibly can. Some of it will shift when it gets pinched, but get it as close as you can, pinch towards the center, and then bring the edges back out. Hold that while taking the button ribbon, or button thread, excuse me, and wrapping it around tightly. Do any little adjustments. I'm gonna put one regular knot, like the how you would start off tying your shoes in the back. But just one for now because I want to make sure that the center looks good. And the ribbon looks good. I'm pretty happy with that. So we'll go with that. And I'm just gonna do that same type of knot two more times in the back. That should now be nice and secure. I'm gonna cut most of my additional string off. 
Now that we have that ready, we're gonna go ahead and beat up our next hanger. So for the next step, I'm gonna do everything the same, except I'm going to add this little bow beneath my beads. So now I've got my loop through my lobster claw. And before I take it up over the rest of the beads, I'm just gonna place the bow here and then I'm gonna bring the beads through. You can maybe bring the beads through before, actually, yeah, let's, before we tighten it up, we can place the, the bow. So just by, before you tighten that loop around the lobster claw, just take your bow, poke it through, and tighten it down. Now we're going to push all of the beads forward, which will put pressure on the loop that's around the bow and keep it in place. I'm also, when I tie this, going to make sure that there's a little bit of tension always behind this knot so that if it does stretch out or get a little loose, that bow is not going anywhere. So there's that one. And now you don't have to give up the little bow on your freshies. <laughs> 